Hello, good afternoon. Sage here reporting live from Calkine Studio and it's lunchtime here in Sydney. Time for the Mid-Market Pulse. And today's show will take a look across the Australian share market's performance by the mid-session trade. We'll also explore the biggest winners and losers of the day, such as South 32, Oil Search, Linus Rare Earths, GUD Holdings, Telus Mining, ProMedicus and many more. Lastly, we'll discuss stocks such as API, Woolworths, West Farmers, Macquarie Group, Afterpay and lots more. So let's begin without any further delays. The Australian shares continued to trade lower by the afternoon trade on Thursday, albeit pairing some of the early losses amid persistent concerns about the long-term impacts of the Omicron variant, a new COVID-19 strain. And as of now, the sixth case of the Omicron coronavirus has been detected in the country, which stoked fears of a re-imposition of curbs and delays in economic recovery. By the afternoon trade, the ASX 200 index was down by 36.10 points or 0.50%. And following week closing at Wall Street, the benchmark index opened lower for the second straight session and declined as much as 0.9% during the session so far. On the sectoral front, 8 of 11 sectors were trading in red, led by the tech index. The information technology sector was the worst performer with a 2.9% loss, led by fintech stocks such as Afterpay, Zero, NetWealth and Zip. The falls in growth driven stocks was seen as investors rushed back to software and e-commerce shares as worries about the Omicron strain clouded the global recovery. And meanwhile, utilities was the best performer with a 0.4% gain, followed by industrials and financials, which traded marginally higher. And in our next segment, let's focus on the top gainers and losers by the mid-session trade. And the top loser on the ASX pack was minerals exploration company Oracoba, which traded 7.1% lower. Some of the other notable losers were diversified financial group NetWealth, FinTech Major, Afterpay, healthcare business ProMedicus and asset management business Pendle Group. On the gaining side, Energy Major Worley topped the chart by rising 3.1% by the mid-session. And some of the other top performers were automobile component manufacturer GUD, gold producer Chalice Mining, transportation business Transurban Group and Fletcher Building. We've now come to a time for a short break, but stay with us, we'll return with the newsmakers. Hi there, James Preston for Calkine TV. Are you into gaming and virtual reality? Does AI and the endless possibilities it entails capture your interest? Or are you constantly trawling through the web to try and discover the latest updates and innovations in the tech space? Well, let us do the work for you. From the latest product launches to shocking affairs on the World Wide Web, exclusive interviews and information about the top companies like Apple and Google to brand new tech startups vying for your attention. Calkind's Tech Beat has the latest in what matters in the world of technology. Join me every single Thursday on The Tech Beat, exclusive to Calkind TV. Welcome back. This is Sage. Let's move on now to the stocks that created a buzz on the ASX today. And shares of Australian Pharmaceutical Industries, a health and beauty company, rallied nearly 17% after it received a takeover offer from Woolworths Group. However, WOW's share price dropped marginally following the announcement. And Woolworths, one of Australia's leading retailers, has proposed to acquire 100% of the shares in API for $1.75 Australian per API share, outbidding the rival West Farmers. The deal values API's equity at 872 million Australian dollars, 12.9% more than the offer proposed by West Farmers last month. And meanwhile, the board of API has determined that the Woolworths Group proposal is reasonably likely to be a superior proposal. And Woolworths Group will engage constructively with API to quickly finalise its due diligence inquiries. API is one of Australia's leading health and beauty retailers and pharmaceutical distributors and is listed on the ASX. API is the parent company of the Priceline Pharmacy, Salt Pattinson Chemist and Pharmacist Advice brands and provides a range of retail services to its community pharmacy partners and company-owned Priceline retail stores. 
Macquarie Group shares were up 0.3% by the mid-session after it appointed former Reserve Bank of Australia Governor Glenn Stevens as the new chairman. The country's biggest asset manager said Stevens would replace Peter Warren, who will retire by the 2022 annual general meeting. And Warren has been chair of the Macquarie Group and Macquarie Bank boards since April 2016 and a director of both entities since 2007. Stephen's appointment and Warren's retirement as a voting director on both boards will be effective in early May 2022 following the 2022 full year results announcement. And shares of Afterpay dropped 5% after the Buy Now Pay Later major delayed a shareholder vote on its acquisition by Square. The fintech company informed its shareholders this morning that it has decided to defer a shareholder meeting to vote on its acquisition by Square Inc. following a delay in approval from the Bank of Spain. The meeting, which was scheduled on the 6th of December 2021, will be delayed until the new year. Afterpay and Square are confident that the Bank of Spain's conditions will ultimately be satisfied. And whilst the statutory deadline for Square's application for the Bank of Spain approval is currently set for 21st February 2022, at present Square expects that the Bank of Spain's conditions will be satisfied in mid-January 2022. And shares of Crown Resorts, Australia's largest gaming and entertainment group, traded marginally higher after it again rejected a takeover bid from US private equity firm Blackstone. The casino operators board believes that the 8.5 billion Australian dollar takeover bid of $12.50 Australian a share was not high enough and was not compelling value for investors. The company, however, has opened its books to Blackstone to undertake due diligence so it could raise its takeover bid. Thanks to your company on that report. That's all for now on the Mid-Market Pulse, but stay tuned to Calkine TV as we have many more shows lined up for you, including live market updates and expert talks. This is Sage signing off for now.